Welcome to a new short market update about Bitcoin and Ethereum as yesterday we've had some news from Jerome Powell in which he said that we are not reducing the balance sheet, we are not getting coins out of tightening. It's on the agenda for this month's Fed meeting but although we've had a conclusion last month that we were going to get it that was in pushing the prices of the markets down, there is no confirmation of it. And he also stated that the low interest rates will sustain for the coming years, which is actually an ingredient for the markets to just continue running. And because of that, we've had some beautiful runners of Bitcoin, uh, or at least a bounce of Bitcoin happening. So in this update, we're going to discuss what's actually needed for Bitcoin to continue towards 46k and we are also going to cover ethereum a little bit but before we're going to continue do not forget to subscribe beneath like this youtube update and check out my twitter and instagram where you can find daily content when it comes to the markets of crypto and also my personal life and yesterday i've made a post on instagram which was about the fact that people that wanted to buy lower at 65k they are not buying right now because after a correction, they only want to start buying lower. For instance, if people are saying right now that, hey, Bitcoin is 40K, but I'm looking to buy a 30, usually when the price hits 30K, they are looking to buy a 20K and they end up by buying not, not at all or buying through FOMO once again, as that is when the emotions kick in. So I think that you should be using plain price action and plain price levels and that is why I've been buying heavily in the past period or in the past week, given the fact that the prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum have been hitting very important support levels. Am I going to sustain in, that, uh, in those buys? Am I going to keep them? All depending on the market structure for the coming period. But let's discuss the charts and let's head towards them. So what is actually needed for a continuation after this construction has been made? You can already see that this structure is completely different than the structure that we were having in this period here, right? As we in the previous period before the market breakdown, the market has been making lower highs and lower lows. So the actual breakdown was quite anticipated and we've had or we have seen that happening. What is important to realize here as well is the fact that from 45.8, all the way towards 42.8 there is nothing in between so in case of a breakout above this level and i think it's around 43.4 we can actually start accelerating all the way towards this resistance area and this entire block that we have here as that is the first reference point for traders to actually start taking profits and if you are following my portfolio and my trades in my group you know that this is an important level for me also if we want to sustain any bullishness this is the entire crucial resistance as the range high could be confirmed here and if we crack 46k i think that we're getting ourselves into a new bullish move what do we see more well the structure itself looks quite similar to the structure that we've been having here right in some way so we've had a structure here in which we were making lower highs and we were testing the support level in this case we didn't really take out the liquidity beneath the low but we've actually reversed and we flipped the previous resistance point for support and therefore we can start continuing the upwards momentum so the trend has reversed if we are looking at the structure through a clean price chart we still see that we have been making those lower highs here and we have been making lower lows but support was holding through which we actually had to bounce back up and the reversal as support has become or the resistance has flipped for support right which was at 47.9 in this case we've also been making those lower highs all the way we've had this fake out and then another lower high and we have been also been testing support twice in which we held there in which we are also seeing this breakout right now with the crucial breaker that has to hold is the previous resistance point because if that is not going to sustain for support we can have a fall through and then this entire move is a fake out and we most likely are going to look for new lows so the crucial level to watch to hold 
is this entire level at 42.1 if that is sustaining here the chances are quite likely that we're going to have a continuation move here and i think that the moment we are going to flip this area for support and attack 43.4 the likelihood of a test at 46 is definitely increasing heavily, especially since we have been reversing the trend here and cracked above those uh, previous resistances through which stops have been hit. And I think more of them will be hit the moment we break above that 43.4 level. So that is what is needed to actually test 46k. If you're looking at Ethereum, we can see the exact same. We have been discussing this structure of lower highs in which a higher low was made and a flip is going to happen for continuation right if we do the exact same as what we've just been doing with bitcoin we can arguably say that we've got a very important resistance point for ethereum to watch as well which is this range at 3.6k and if you look at lower time frames we've got a level here at 3.45 uh, this entire zone is also an important one to watch so i'll just mark these two for reference but what we do see on the lower time frames is the fact that we were making lower highs all the way and we also were making lower lows. However, this was the liquidity run given the fact that so many uh, or such a high level volume was made here with this lower low. Bullish divergence was created so the trend has reversed. We have made a higher low and now just like the prior section has been showing here, we are seeking for a level to flip in order to have continuation taking place. So what do I want to see happening with Ethereum? Just like Bitcoin has a crucial level for 42.1, I'd like to see this entire zone around 3150 to sustain a support. If that fills as support, I think we're looking for a new low around 2.8 and then I'll be getting filled more on my longs. If this sustains and if Bitcoin is going to show strength, the likelihood of a test at 3.5 and potentially even 3.6 is on the tables. I hope you have enjoyed this small update. I'll be back later today about the Bitcoin debt cross. We're going to cover that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit a like this YouTube update and I'll see you again soon.